There's a story in the canon of a monk out in the forest. And off in the distance he hears the villagers having a nighttime festival. And apparently his meditation is not going well because he starts feeling sorry for himself. At least they know how to have a good time. And Deva appears. And she says, do you know how many beings are jealous of you right now, envious of you right now? You've, you're headed on a path upwards. They're heading on a path downwards. So as you're practicing the Dharma, it's always good to keep that in mind, that whatever the difficulties are, whatever the hardships, at least you're heading on an upward path. What's interesting is that almost coincidentally the same incident happened to John Mahabho. He was meditating in the forest. Apparently his meditation was not going well. And he heard villagers off in the distance on their way to a festival. In his case, he didn't have a deva. At first he was feeling sorry for himself, saying at least they know how to have a good time. But then he came to his senses. Where does that good time in the villagers lead? Nowhere particularly good. Or is every breath, where right? you're practicing endurance, you're practicing determination, you're practicing truthfulness, you're building your perfections, you're developing a goodness inside that's independent of outside conditions. And that's worth a lot more than a lot of physical comforts. So always keep that in mind. On a hot day like this, make sure you get enough salt, enough water. In other words, care for yourself as best you can, given the circumstances. And then work directly on your mind. You don't have to comment on the heat. The, the commenting doesn't do anything about the heat. It doesn't make the heat any less. In fact, it often makes it feel like it's more than it is. Comment on how you can Keep the mind with the breath. Keep the mind with your meditation object. Look for the cool sensations in the body. They're there. Maximize those as you can. And remember that you're on a path that's heading upward. And as with every upward tending path, sometimes it requires more strenuous effort than a path that slides down. But when you get to the top, you're rewarded with a magnificent view. And it's not the case that the path reserves all of its rewards for the end. After all, if you can breathe with a sense of well-being, you can hold on to that in the meantime. Just don't go holding on to your complaining thoughts. Because right complaining is not part of the path. But right resolve is.